Fantasy football season is officially here. All these other draft best ball nerds, dino nerds that have been drafting since the week after Super Bowl. Listen, that's not when regular people draft. As a man of the people, I am going to be showing you what a first look draft really is all about and how we integrate the core principles of live a little into the draft. It's the Swolecast first look draft. Best Ball Edition coming up next on RotoGrinders.com. You came back from the full cap? I was like, yep, that's me. I just want you guys to know I'm total dust. <laughs> I'm the problem. Hear ye, hear ye. Leave it to the guy with the crypto dreams, Abby, to not understand context. <laughs> I should have known you getting 30 likes was directly written by someone else. <laughs> you know me. I don't do a, a ton of research before the show. I put no research into this. Don't know if it's true at all. You're on the right show. To it, bro. Live a little. <laughs> live a little. Just live a little, guys. All right. Um... We are back here at the Swolecast. I don't know. I'm sharing my screen. Not sure if you can see it. We are in the draft. We are in the draft on Underdog. Um, and I am, oh, geez, I got the 110. And Davis got the 1-5. Where did Pete get? Uh, the 1-3. Unreal. Um, just as a reminder, I have not looked at any sort of best ball rankings. <laughs> <laughs> no one so, believes you. Uh, no I know because you. I have two best ball finals <laughs> underneath my belt. And so that's kind of, um, that's, that's where we are right now. So, uh, Pete, as soon as you pick, let's do the oversets overview. Uh, that way you don't have to be worried. Right. About, uh, yeah, um, I, I was going to say either that Dave, or if we want to do the oversets overview at the end of the show, uh, I would like to say that okay. my content this week is pretty evergreen. Okay. The, great. <laughs> Um, are you guys feeling good about best ball season now? I feel great, Dave. I, like, I, I, how is Pete going to do the cardio club with his, with his, uh, with his insistence on doing all, do you not read my newsletter. This was one of the FAQ items <laughs> I answered Dave Davis. In my, to my recollection, y y you gave shrugging guy emoji. You were like, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I thought that's what you wrote. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> can you tell I me think... what, uh, can you tell me what the cardio club really is? Dave, are you on a treadmill desk right now? Or are you just simulating walking very fast? <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you. I'll let you answer that. What do you think? <laughs> did you like? Did you make Better Collective pay for this in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So uh, a little bit. So um, you got C Mac with the third pick. Davis got uh, Taysom Hill. Uh, <laughs> Dave believing that Taysom Mill is the fifth overall pick is pretty good. It says T Hill, right? Uh, so Tyreek. Hey, Dave, I know you're yeah. a first time best ball streamer, but will you show the audience the draft board, bud? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you want maybe a little zoom? Zoom yeah, a little okay. while you're yeah. living a little? Yeah, okay. There we go. All Reduction right. on point as always. I liked it. So um, I really don't know with the cardio club, like what is the minimum threshold for what cardio is on the cardio club for underdog? And, and Pete, can you just explain it to everybody? Yeah. Well, first of all, I have to ask so the first part of your question. It is graded on a scale. So what you're doing right now is like considered running a marathon for David <laughs> Kitchen's normal activity levels. <laughs> How do uh, I? Okay. Uh, Hold that Talk thought. us through your thought process here, Dave. Oh, Bijan already at the that's oh gosh, no chance. Dave, you're getting getting him late, dude. You're getting him late. Dude, take seven Bichon, three. dude. No, he's seven three. Oh man, I don't know. I, David Kitchen is him. about to be a slave to ADP for his first oh. pick of the year. Amazing. All right, Look at fine. Dave. Bijan. Value, value hound. Whatever. Value hound, Whatever this guy. Oh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> all um, right kitchen what what you're yeah. doing there are some people who i know have done a brisk walk and they have categorized yeah. that as underdog cardio club i don't think that's necessarily in the spirit of it fully i do think for me it's like breaking a sweat you know like something i've got to break a sweat with. on this yes. i mean but how long that are these drafts though 45 minutes we're gonna be fast today 
Well, I feel like 45 minutes. You're breaking. You're gonna break a, a sweat. I hope so, Dave. This is Walk Red right now. You're, oh, you're on back the on the clock. You're on the clock there, King. Okay. Well, look at all these quarterbacks going way high. Average ADP of 18, 20, and 20. No chance. All right. Um, you know what I should have done is CD and Pollard, but we can't be revisionist <laughs> historians right here. So, so Mr. I'm going to draft Little is CD. starting out with the two highest ADP yeah, guys you on just, the board. We, for those. we call him we call him Auto Draft Dave around uh, here. Listen, <laughs> listen. Uh, big believer in CD this year. Um, with that cow, without Zeke, you know, I think the Cowboys' offense is going to take a, a step up. Obviously, they got uh, Schoonmaker uh, as the tight end, uh, big second round pick. Let's get back so, to the draft board, Dave. Okay. Jeez, oh, you guys are asking me to do a lot <laughs> right now. I don't know. I don't know if you need to be walking at whatever pace you're walking. I think I don't think anyone would judge you if you toned it down a little bit. Okay. All right. So, um, Davis, you go Pollard. You will snipe me, bro. I don't. That's I'll not snipe. how that. That's not how that works. You I almost took. Me. I almost took Derrick Henry for the bit. Uh, you should have. Um, I'm all I'm okay. a, Dave Dave I, I've had yeah. a come to Jesus moment with Derek Henry yeah. I'm all in this year I'm taking him I'm taking him all the time yeah you're all in so, at what price what I mean I'm taking him over I'm taking him over all these guys over over every running back that goes around him so when I'm there at three two I'm taking him 100% of the time and I probably take him over Chubb when that ADP corrects wow yeah. He plays okay. the Texans twice in the playoff. It's just it's the name of the I game is getting. I have he, heard he, that. The name of the game is getting the most points possible. In so, are you high on all the Titans players relative no. to ADP, or just no. Derrick Henry? Just Derrick Henry. Well, there you go, Chubb and Henry and Justin Jefferson. Jeez, gee, cheese ball with that one dot one start. The the one guys... the one hundred one is such a cheat code every year. So, do you think they should do third round reversal next year? No, and they never will. <laughs> the kitchen. Now, do you think they maybe do super flex tight end premium third round reversal <laughs> next year? Oh, they might. Uh, uh, yeah, in the 2023 best ball landscape, can we get Kitchen to comment on his favorite structure? Um, you know, I, obviously this is my first draft, but I do like the super flex structure because I think it. In the past, it has elevated the quarterbacks. <laughs> That's rankings, not what the question but now, was, Kitchen. <laughs> but now you're talking format. He's talking best ball draft structure, not best ball oh, format. <laughs> I think it's like a three, three, five, and then seven, and either either two or three. And okay. it all depends on where you get your studs. You know, if it's if you're like Pat and you start off with running backs, um, then you know you only need probably four running backs. Okay. How, All right. How so many that more of a hyper fragile build is what you're. So doing. kitchen, oh, kitchen's, going, kitchen's going. Kitchen's going. You got to tell me when I'm on the clock. Debo, no chance. All right. This, this is, is a good, gross rage of the board. No, I can't wait to see you navigate this. No, this is actually really good. I'm actually high on Amari Cooper this year. Average Amari, huh? No, a average. average Amari. Dave I think he's it. going way lower than where he should go because of. Where do you think he should go? A second round. What? What? Yeah. That's his. What? That's that's like his ceiling, right? Babe, have you considered that he is playing in a polar vortex in week seventeen? <laughs> no, I haven't looked at any of the schedule. Obviously, so uh, the Browns I... in week seventeen. Oh, dude, it's 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 so bad. They play home to the Jets. I mean, it's about as bad as it gets. Week seventeen. Kitchen's Pretty duping warm. my structure right now. Okay, Davis. Uh... Davis has a hot team. Davis has a hot team. Man. I drafted probably my least favorite team of the year this morning Dude, in my cardio I, club. I was busy, but I almost responded to that. It, that was an abomination. <laughs> was, well, dude, I, I, I was not thinking, you know, clicking back in between multiple things. And I clicked Stafford as my second quarterback. Like, oh, I'll take Atwell in round 18 to get the stack. And I didn't realize I they had, he and Mahomes had the same bye week. All right. So I just took uh, Fields in round four, just because you can have naked Fields. Um, You're you, Dave, kitchen. You are you are living a little. No, kitchen. Come on, man. You what? tell the people you took Fields because they play the Falcons in Week Seventeen, bro. I can't tell you that. You guys have to tell me <laughs> that. 
<laughs> I this is my first time good. looking. I haven't looked at the schedule. You <laughs> have to tell me. Uh, Michael Zimmerman says unstacked fields. That's a no no. Michael, is your first best ball um, draft, bro? You can stack at the end. I actually, I actually think unstacked. I think unstacked fields is kind of GTO right now because the DJ Moore Fields teams are getting it at a terrible price. Like once, once people start drafting by ETRs, um, you know, imported rankings, they just put that in their applet. DJ Moore is going to fall. Oh, oh, great. My first got- CMC Terry McLaurin week 17 correlation feels good. Feels oh, that's a good, good. one. <laughs> okay. Um, cheese ball coming around the, the turn uh, with Burrow. Man. No, he, he hasn't dragged. Burrow was before him. Kitchen, did you throttle down the speed on that treadmill? Because you're going Davis told me to. I told Davis him Davis to. Davis told oh, me yeah. to. There's, there's a fine line between doing a good bit and just All like right. bad – bad programming but, and kitchen but, is like t- wheezing and trying to stay <laughs> alive for an hour no, it's just bad no. content <laughs> is it though yes. um i think people would love to see me wheeze but here's the thing well here's what they don't know is that uh better collective we had an um, internal competition in may the whole month of may called move in may and they um they get you to track your steps they put you on different teams like people that you don't even know like different offices and stuff and here's a fun fact. I have walked at least 10,000 steps every single day. Every single day. Good for you, dude. How many steps have you walked, Davis? A lot more than that. How I many steps do you walk a day? Walks a day? Um, here, I can, I can look at my watch and tell you my average steps a day, I think. Yeah, yeah, do that. And don't cheat either. <clears throat> Show your watch. Okay. Um, while you do that, you just drafted Chris Godwin in the fifth. <laughs> Davis Did you knows mean he's to... getting traded to the Chiefs. Did you mean to do that, Davis? Is that the thesis of the play? Well, I'm already heavy on running backs. I'm not going to take Anthony Richardson on this team, so it doesn't make sense to take Pittman. And I like Godwin straight up more than Smith and Jigba. I think he scores a lot more points in every week than Smith and Jigba. So structurally pretty easy okay all right uh, so one of the things is host um oh, you do shoot. gotta kind of have to recap the teams as we go here yeah i know you're gonna have to help me out i can't do all okay. this i can't do the my usual job of carrying the show on its back um <laughs> on my back so cd uh, lots of running backs but you know Funny what how that works Oh, Alpha Play Dave here. <laughs> 17 oh. correlation. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, Pitts and uh, Bijan on the same team. Where what could go has, wrong? Yeah, has where's Traylon's uh, ADP? Seventy six point two. He's kind of down there. I might have to snipe trailing from you just to, oh no, you're on the clock right now. Uh Uh-oh, you better go get him if you want him, Davey. Ain't coming back, buddy. Ain't coming back. You only got five bucks in your account. This is your only best ball mania draft of the entire summer. (laughs) Make it count, buddy. This is playing with house money from last year's uh, haul, but yeah. I uh... Yeah, huge ROI. Huge, huge haul. No, I I withdrew, but I guess. (laughs) Love it. Don't. Don't tip me at the good time. All right. Uh, so I've got Fields, Bijan, CD, Amari, Traylon, and Kyle Pitts. That is like so far, no leaks detected, right? <laughs> no leaks. <laughs> like you yeah, have I, to be, you have to be impressed. Did you see that Traylon Burks no longer has issues with breathing? Uh, and yet he's still going six round. Well, who's yeah, going to be there? Who's going to be their quarterback, bud? It doesn't matter who's going to be their wide receiver. Like he's all they ha- he and Chig and 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 maybe Phillips and the ghost of Chris Moore. Chris Moore, <laughs> what a pull. yeah! Who's the, who's the, who's the yeah? Oh, the Titans, man. It's not NWI good, not and Chris Moore. I mean, they might pick up somebody in the training camp, but so kid, and just to flesh that out, is your yeah. thesis that Traylon Burks' ADP in the seventies is due 
solely because he can't breathe well and and that the market hasn't caught up to the fact that he can breathe well and he should be like a fourth or fifth round pick? No, I think people are still counting like his overall body of work last season. Mm -hmm. And we know like he started off really slow and um, then he got hurt and then shut down for the season. So they aren't seeing like the that three or four game stretch where he just went off. And now he's going to be in even better shape. I don't know if you guys saw the big news yesterday, but he's actually stayed here in town in Nashville to work out with the team. He's taking wow. things serious. He he was pushing around a sled pretty hard yesterday, and there was a hype video, training video for it. So I respect it. Uh, I'm boots, kind of doing the same. on the ground, Titans take. That's why people are here. And I'm doing the same thing with, with my body as well. Uh, staying in town and just – you know, amping up the, the training. A little Dave, bit. these are my, these are my numbers. Right, 9, just tell me. 9,800 per day. Uh, 9, Davis, that is not good. Year. That's like I lightly don't, active. I don't. Borderline do any, sedentary. I don't Show do the board, anything Dave. on I don't do anything on Sundays. So I, I'm probably sub 3,000 steps on Sundays. Let me show you. How many steps Hold do you down think so people can see the picks, Dave? Gosh, Pete. <sighs> Good job, Dave, Dave. You're such an amateur. Pete, how many steps do you think I've taken in the month of May? Dude, I'm not. I'm not a steps guy. I don't need these whoops to track my my progress. I will I don't give even you have a ballpark. I how will many? Give you how many steps is in, in three miles? Some someone ballpark, or how many steps in a mile? Someone just give me a frame of reference. I have no idea. Probably about 7,000. It's like 2,250, 2,500. Davis okay. probably uh, like 33,000, 3,500. And Kitchen, you're at this desk every day when you're in the office? Stand we just got it last walk. week. Oh. I don't know. It sounds like you hit 10,000 steps. It sounds like that's a threshold you're going for. Yeah, but the month of May, how many steps do you oh. think I have? Well, you just got this, so 10,000. If seven. you... If you get within 5,000, I will give you a free best ball entry All right. to one of the $5 or less best ball contest. All right. I'm going to say 120,000 steps. You're right. Okay. Uh, oh, look what we got here. Oh, I don't feel good about this, but it's damn. Oh. Dave, uh, your controversial, moral, your controversial moral pick. Is, your moral oh, comfort I don't, for 10 seconds before you stack that right up. Well, it, I didn't have much time look left, at, so I drafted. Look at, this, look, at this, look at this construction Dave has going, too. He's, piss, he's, Justin, he's a piss boy. Justin Fields and Deshaun Watson, Bijan, CeeDee Lamb, Amari Cooper, Traylon, and Kyle Pitts. Um, so, yeah, people said two QBs. Well, when... When you hit the nuts on everybody else, it's easy to go two QBs. Fascinated to see what Dave does here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with James Conner. The hate has gone too far, James Conner. Davis, tell everybody who the Cardinals picked up this year uh, for their for their new running back. I don't think they drafted anybody, did they? Exactly. That is my whole point. <laughs> Carter slips 3.3 picks past ADP, and Dave goes, the hate has yeah. gone too far. Dave, <laughs> Dave, Dave is literally Dave is literally just ADP hounding. <laughs> no, I am not. You can't say that. That's the only – oh, uh, thank you, Matt Parn said, I actually don't mind Kitchen's team. Way better than Davis's. Okay. Every um, – Dave, Dave didn't consider Javante because he doesn't FF doom. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the updates. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's been going on. You know, I know Javante. If I wanted a, a running back that only played, uh, you know, two games or three games, I would just go with Brian Robinson. <laughs> Jeremy's wondering if this is an episode of ADP chasing. It does feel a lot like an episode of ADP chasing, except for the charts. We have Dave on a treadmill just uh, firing no, picks. I also took Traylon. I also roster construction is a little different. The uh, he did. To be fair, he did take Traylon Burks fifteen picks ahead of ADP. Thank you, thank you. And as you guys know, the Live a Little brand really applies, especially 
to like the mid to later rounds because that's when you can really separate yourselves as far as ADP from the rest of the crowd. Oh. And also, oh. what happened, Javante? No, I wanted to take Kirk there. Oh, oh you oh. No, you Who did you have, have with Kirk? I, I haven't looked at your team Hawkinson. because Dave doesn't ever. Oh, Hawk. Oh, you got Tua, though. Oh, Davis, man. recap your team so far for the audio listeners. Yeah. I've got Tua and Tyreek, Stack, Tony Pollard, Ramondre Stevenson, and Cam Akers are my running backs. Tyreek Godwin Lockett are my wide receivers, and TJ Hawkinson at tight end. And I'm going to take. Elijah Moore I is my most drafted player. So Dude, your I'm percentage not... when you said that on ADP chasing my jaw dropped. Yeah, I got it. I he just is the easiest click there because I right. hate Sutton, I hate Juju, I hate Beckham. Well, I don't so, like Jameson Williams, so he's just the easiest click there for me, but I gotta start diversifying. So again, this is my first draft. Um you drafted Tyreek, and then later on you drafted Godwin Lockett and then Sutton as your next three wide receivers. Is your strategy like one alpha wide receiver, and then the rest just dusty has been wide receivers. Davis, uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm because, I'm like, in the back in, in the past, I'm hitting, it's been I'm rookie wide back. receivers. Well, Smith and Jigba's price is nonsensical, and I can't click it. Addison, yeah. I took a lot before his price corrected. Addison is oh. appropriately priced now, guys. Have you guys heard about Elijah Moore? Dave, wow, you're my, sniping he, Davis on his favorite player in the pool. Yeah, he's my most drafted player. Okay, um, let me pull up the uh, draft board, and then um, I'm gonna need a little help. Who does Cleveland play in Week 17? The Jets. We just, oh. I just told you that about 10 minutes ago. Uh, Davis I wasn't listening. Outdoors. This is- Outdoors against the Jets, you know, David. Deshaun, the two most likable quarterbacks in the game, Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers playing off against each other in a week 17. Kitchen, matchup. if you don't take Corey Davis here as your bring back, um, he's not making it back to you. I would yeah, definitely you're not, grab you're not Corey Davis. Little. Former Titan. This is an Where's Corey Davis. Pick. He's like, why? Just he was almost David. dropped. Don't look oh, at it. Gosh. You can just select it. Live a little. Odell. Jacoby, I do need. Oh, let's. See Dave, that. Dave would be the guy in every draft. He's the guy keeping Oda, like David. David Kitchens across the world are keeping Odell Beckham's ADP afloat. Wow, A chain, Dave. I like yeah. it. Yeah. See, you you notice I got Bijan and A chain, and do have Connor there. My, I like the the younger players. You know, the rookie players. A little bit of gas in their tank. Davis is drafting all these olds. And uh, really likes Derrick Henry this year. So it kind of tells you where he is in his uh-huh. whole he gets life to play, cycle. He gets to play the Texans, dude. Wow. I, I thought for sure you would take a chain because he absolutely destroyed Vanderbilt at one time in his college football career. But no, Davis, no career games against Vandy. If, so. if, if I drafted everyone that's destroyed Vanderbilt in their SEC career... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, the draft is just nothing but like highlights of of big plays against Vanderbilt. I would have probably taken Mingo if uh, you know guys that I'm guessing Mingo is dominated. Mingo, by. Mingo is like the reverse of Elijah Moore to me. I just can't fathom how people are making that click. Why? What are the Pete? What are the odds that Rasheed Rice scores more fantasy points than Jonathan Mingo? I mean, I think it's probably pretty close, right? Right, and Rasheed Rice is wide receiver 59, and Jonathan Mingo's wide receiver like 38. Yeah, I think I no, the, I'm I go back I just, and forth I made on that this. up. I made that up. Mingo is not <laughs> that. I completely made that up. Davis, please, I'm on a treadmill. I don't know why I thought that, but it is not true in the slightest. Uh, Darnell Mooney doesn't come back today for his field stack. Yeah, that's sad. You hate to see it. Chase he's, Claypool he's, will be he's, there for He's going to have to get Claypool, yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, my team right now through 10 rounds, Christian McCaffrey, DeAndre Swift, James Cook, P. Ryan at running back. I'm probably done at running back. Wide receiver, Devonta Smith, Chris Olave, Terry McLaurin, Mike Evans, Michael Thomas, tight end, George Kittle. There you go. You're going, you're going hyper-fragile here? And uh, yeah. Davis, I had to get that... Uh, uh, I did grab the Rashi Rice now that he was front of mind here. Whoa, uh, Samaje Pirine uh, plays for Denver this year. <laughs> he 
he does, Dave. So he does. He so who's they, the, they paid him? They paid him decent money. So who's the Bengals backup? No one knows. Is it Evans? Is he still on the team? He Travion Williams, and they drafted this guy that everyone's horny for called Chase Brown. Called Chase oh, yeah. Brown. <laughs> is he from North Carolina? Is that where he's from? Uh, Illinois, Brown? right? Oh yes, it's it is Illinois. Yeah, you're right. Mingo goes, Zay Jones, Kendra Miller. I liked Kendra Zay, Miller. Zay Jones, Zay Jones, by the way, I think I've pinpointed him out as the single worst ADP value on on the board, right? Oh. He, he's got to be. Woo boy. Man. Do I have like at, at wide receiver at wide receiver 57? Who who's he playing over? How is he getting you're, to wide receiver you're, 57? You're right, Davis, because what the market did to Joshua Palmer's ADP, they should be doing to Zay Jones, and they didn't. Yes, they didn't at all. It, like it's, Calvin, it's, Calvin Ridley is Calvin Ridley. Uh, he's going to be a big at target earner than anyone who played for them last year. Yeah, people, okay. it's it's the recency bias of like Zay Jones had those big weeks when it mattered down the stretch last year, and everyone has and the uh, and and you know big big underdog was so in on zay jones right norris yeah. norris loved zay jones okay so don't know if you guys saw who i took with my <laughs> last pick chig at adp that that took a lot of restraint yeah well that's done, Dave. that that's that's uh that's very on brand who's he gonna be here dave, adam Thielen i was gonna say like dave dave hover, dave hovering over Thielen is hilarious he wants it actually so it's bad. more um cole Komet. But I've already got you will, two you little, tight little, ends. Little three tight end team. Three early to mid tight ends. One of the highest advanced. No, don't do it, Dave. Oh, I missed you the missed pick. We got I missed, missed it. Moore. I got Sky Moore. How is Sky Moore even time. that high? I got time Dude, now. Have you not heard about a Q? No. I mean, I have. It's my first draft, though. I don't have a Q. Like... <laughs> I'm trying to do everything at once, produce. Um, Kitchen, you knew you were on the clock and you were staring at the picks. That one didn't come out of nowhere. Listen, every – I mean, there are still good basketball teams that still have shot clock violations every once in a while. <laughs> Sky Moore. Davis, give me a like a like a good kind of outlook no, for Sky Moore dead, this bud. season. He is, he is completely <laughs> dead. He, he, I, he, he is not even a good special teamer. Like, he, he, he's dead. He is he, no, he is completely dead, but still a better pick than Adam Thielen. Yeah, second year wide receivers. I mean, the, man, I should have probably gone for Hyatt or one of these Spike Week guys. Speaking of Spike Week, make sure you go to their sites, and um, they've got the extensions for when you do draft your teams uh, and the overlay. From what I understand, uh, the overlay on DraftKings is very nice. Uh, almost like a cheat code over there. So spikeweek.com. And then uh, we also have another sponsor that I've got to get to, but um, I'm starting to get a little bit out of breath. So I'm going to need to uh, just let you talk, Pete. So talk us through your team, talk kind of what you're seeing sponsor? on the board. Okay. No, yeah, I no, did, no. I did just take my first quarterback. Uh, I have Derek Carr. I took, uh, got a little value on Chris Olave in the third there at pick 27. And then I, Grabbed a rare Michael Thomas share for me, but setting up that Derek Carr double stack. And I'm about to pick here in the 13th round. It's looking like a wide receiver pick for me if Big Beans doesn't take him. Um, and yeah, so I got one quarterback, one tight end, four running backs, six wide receivers. I think this is close between a four running back or five uh, running back build. I'm going to grab DJ Chark, though, uh, here. Oh, wow. If Davis DJ is Shark, out on Mingo, AKA, are AKA you AKA in on Mingo? Chark? Yeah. 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 I just, I don't know. It feels, the Mingo stuff feels like wish casting to me. But here's the thing. I was, I mentioned this to someone the other day. Couldn't you see Mingo doing what another former overdrafted Carolina wide receiver first round pick did in Kelvin Benjamin, <laughs> where he's just like a target monster, but sucks. And then just like flames out of the league. I mean, I, I, I think that's, I think that's in the realm. Um, but I think the role of shitty player getting force fed targets they don't deserve on that team is probably feeling until he dies. Pete, did you also pump the Funchess bags back in the day? 
I'm sure I did. Because you you are kind of like a, a Panther wide receiver bag pumper. Famously, my Terrace Marshall bags, who I think yeah. I ended up no, underweight he's on thinking, last year. Peter, he's no, thinking it was Terrace. LaVisca. He's, he's thinking LaVisca, but... No, he's talking about no. the, ter- the, the pumping Remember the Terrace Marshall? Terrace. He drafted Aggressi- him and he's I'll like... Be aggr- I'll be aggressively drafting. Right, yes, aggressively drafting. Right after he said it, he's like, you guys have got to take this wide receiver <laughs> in your traps. <laughs> And then after that, he's like, I think I'm pretty good with where yeah. I'm at. Um, Dave, you're, you're about to be on the clock. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Okay. Because I'm like reading Michael's comment about how good I'm doing right now on my team. Jeez, uh, man. Okay. Jeez. All right. Just triple stack and triple stack in the polar vortex game. Where's your bring back, bud? Okay. Davis, I don't, I don't want to focus too much on last year. But I did get like top zero point zero zero one percent of the DraftKings thing, and part of that was not focusing so much on week seventeen. Part of that was just getting to week seventeen. Yeah, and how um, did that go? Not having a lot of correlation in that big final. Yeah, was that was Dave? that like was that like really good and fun? Oh, oh yeah, d- because we can just accurately predict what's going to happen in week seventeen, just like we did last year, right? <laughs> Yeah, like what, like Dave? Have you have you looked at the lineup that won two million dollars at Best Ball Media last year? Yeah, but what maybe. I'm saying is like, like there was some unpredictable stuff that happens. Like you don't know, you don't know, and that's why you just got to get oh, there. Dave, Dave is using Dave is using the Demar Hamlin uh, yeah. motion corditis incident as being like anything can happen. So I'm just clicking buttons, basically. You mean a game that was so the players within the game were so correlated that they all got the exact same amount of points, literally the biggest point for correlation possible. They were that correlated. Dave, Dante Foreman just getting in wow. that Chicago running game. I kind of like that. What did you did you value on that a little, Dave? Was that no, not even he was a... on? He was down the board a little bit. Um, wow. But I do. I did need a fourth running back. You know, right now I've got Bijan and Connor to kind of take me through. A chain and Foreman. Um, Jalen Warren was the, le- the next guy up, but I just don't trust Jalen Warren. Um, uh, Davis, is this where you and I fight over uh, Jeff Wilson? I already took Mostert. Oh, you did. Nice. You got the Tua, yeah. So I, oh, I was going to take Jalen Warren. I will take Josh Downs now. Dude, this might be, I might finally capitulate to, uh, to Taysom Hill in one of these. This might be Yeah, why team. would you not? Pete, Dang. don't you, don't you feel when you do this at quarterback, don't you feel so limp dicked? Like I got to no. go, I got to go to the final against Jalen hey, Hurts teams why? with Bryce Young and Derek Carr. Why yeah. is Bryce Young... Why why is he all the way at the 14th round? Because he is not going to score fantasy points. Uh, come says, on, Davis. Says who? I, he's, he is not going to run, and they're going to be a really inefficient He's offense. not going to run? You don't think he's going to run? He didn't run in college, and he's like 5'9", 180 pounds, so I don't think he's going to run that much. If Happy he, to be agree? wrong. You agree? You think his rushing floor is, is zero? It's not zero. He, he'll he'll run for like two hundred yards and a touchdown, probably. Yeah, if he needs to run, he's going to run. He like he showed in some of the big games last year. No, no, you you are you are misremembering. You are misremembering. It was Stroud that had no. two good rushing uh-huh. games to end his career. Derek Derek is asking me in the chat Bryce over Lance. The only reason he's asking that is because he passed on him thinking I would take Lance, hoping he could stack up uh, Bryce Young without a feeling. <laughs> you messed up, kid. I'm, I am, uh, I need to, I got to hand in, I got to hand in my membership. I'm done taking Trey Lance. Wow. You, you're just going to quit like that? It's not, it's not happening, dude. So here's the thing, Davis. I was going to take, uh, Taysom Hill and maybe I still will, but Juwan Johnson, uh, at pick 171 with my Derek Carr. It's just, why are, are we value hounding the guy who has to, he's Foster Moreau signed with them. That dude, this Foster Moreau stuff. I mean, how many games was Darren Waller out last year and Foster Moreau did jack shit? Foster Moreau is not an NFL player. Well, I don't really think Juwan Johnson is either, though. Like, I don't like he's it's so it's like he's got to play like a bunch of the snaps. Dave, scroll down on the draft board. Sorry, I'm trying to look up Bryce Young's rushing yards because I'm about to do. I want Davis Maddock to be so wrong. 
He's he, no. he had 162 rushing yards and seven touchdowns at his time in college. Okay, but what did he have? Like some of the Ooh, big games Davis that he doubling had. it. Uh, so his final two, his final two games, uh, he had three rushes for negative 10 yards against Kansas state. And he had five rushes for 48 yards against Auburn. Wow. Average of nine yards per carry. I'm just saying, I I think it's a Tennessee game maybe where he scrambled from one side to the next. Four rushes for negative four yards against Tennessee. And if everyone's thinking like you, Davis, he's not going to run, it makes me even more bullish on Bryce this year. I just don't – I think it's – I'm on the clock. You guys aren't telling me I'm on the clock. Oh, boy. (laughs) I love to see the wheels working. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wow, you get a leverage against Derrick Henry with this selection, huh? Here's the wow, thing did, about uh, didn't know, Ty didn't know Dave Didn't know Dave hated Derrick Henry. No. Uh, people are overvaluing a uh, what the meniscus does to the knee. The meniscus. Um, meniscus. Tell just, us, Dave, just, tell us how this backfield plays out this year. A lot of people want to know. Da- da- Davis just said he's all in on – hang on. Did Someone clip Davis saying he's all in on Henry and Dave selecting Tajay Spears. What the hell is that? That's good content. <laughs> Yeah. No, because I can't. I, he was already drafted. I can't take him. And I think <laughs> Ty J Spears um, is an excellent. But I mean, this is the running back of the future, right? Uh, for is the it? Titans, this is this is going to be Henry's last year as a Titan. You guys agree? Yes. Like they're he's not coming uh, yeah. back next year. They drafted Ty J Spears to be at least for the next three or four years the main running back. So if something does happen to Derrick Henry. Tajay's going to get Dave. Gonna get take the chat suggestion, Michael Hardman, for your bring back here. It's a good pick. We're not even yeah. messing with you. It's just okay, a good where's... pick, Dave. We're helping you out, bud. Oh man, Michael... I know Davis isn't going to say anything bad about Michael Hardman. Uh, I mean, I'm I've been freed from the tyranny of having to draft <sighs> Michael Hardman. He went from my he went from my favorite quarterback in the world to my least favorite quarterback. So pretty easy to not take him. Hmm. Okay, we're getting to that um, that range of um, you know basically some dart throws. Are you guys take me through you guys' strategy R- round six, 15 through eighteen? Are you largely just trying to correlate, or are you looking for your dart throws as far as the the one offs with potential high ceilings? I want to I want to correlate, and then with round seventeen, eighteen, I want to take guys who are not getting drafted one hundred percent of the time. Yeah, I'm. The further along it gets in the draft, the more I want to be correlating. Would you take a third quarterback with Tua and Geno, Pete? If you had like a really nice double stack already just sitting there, maybe who are you looking I, at? Uh, Baker. Baker Ooh, probably. The oh, there goes Claypool. I I almost drafted him instead of me, Cole. Dang. Damn, quarterbacks a, are uh, hanging around in this draft foul range to draft in that i take i've been taking mechie a lot he's just getting he's getting some good some good buzz i don't even know if it's good or not but it just feel it's like that you know john mechie has never disappointed me yet yeah. in my life so i think you also traded for him in our in our league right i had him and you traded for him correct you just need more bodies I am kind of surprised at how early the quarter, the top tier quarterbacks are going. And then you have guys like Bryce and Stroud and even Ritter, I guess. Those guys are going to score like, you know, but I guess my point is like Stroud and Bryce, like you don't know, like you really, you don't know what they're going to do this year. They could go Mm -hmm. off. It's based. On, it's very hard to have a conversation with someone who just is like, yeah. any who you just know, thinks outside, you, you, outside you, of you, your your Twitter ship chasing bubble. How could you have a different opinion on what a player is? Well, no, do? I'm fine with different opinions, but when the logic is the universe could end tomorrow, fifty fifty, either it will or it won't. Like that's that's hard logic. No, Dave, my thing is like board. why draft board, David. Show the draft board, Dave. Why are guys falling so low when we don't know 
like what their upside is. Like that is like Stroud going at the end of the 16th round and you got three or four quarterbacks going in the first two or three rounds. That's just a wide range. I don't understand why Stroud's falling that far. Well, you do because I explained it to you. Mm, still don't because we don't know. Ship- we don't know. Everyone's coming after ship chasing this week. I mean, Dave um, going. No, I'm saying that Davis is in his own little bubble, his little own little echo chamber bubble of um, you know <sighs> what a what the construct of a correct best ball team should be or best ball strategy sh- should be regarding players and ties it directly to ADP. And if you're looking for an opinion from a guy who's made two finals in the past three years, <laughs> you just can't do that. You have to think of, of other possibilities like 1%, 2%, 3% possibilities. Not Davis, not a lot yeah, of things, but not a lot of things. Just direct answer. If kitchen launched exactly what, Karain has right now and again it's not even that he has to like do all the content because we know that won't happen but he gets it all packaged up the premium site called live a little david kitchens ranks uh audio podcast companions same price as Karain. in the next two weeks how many subs does kitchen sell 87 okay i mean that that's, that's pretty good that, that, I'll, I'll take yeah. the other like, that's that's <laughs> bullish that's yeah, people really people like people like Dave. <laughs> of course, we all like Dave. Are you saying that they would only subscribe to me because they like me and not because the analysis and thinking is sound? <laughs> you know, only one of the only one of the three people on this stream doesn't have a badge, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? What's up? I mean, is that just because you're such a I used to have a I used to I used to have a badge. But it's uh, like 250 yeah, drafts I, a year, right? Right. I didn't do 250 drafts last year on Underdog, and I did more on DraftKings than Underdog. I did 250 in a fucking day, probably. <laughs> FF Duke <laughs> says he'd listen out of spite. Now we need to segment Davis those 80 or those 87 subs. How many of them are spite subs? Right. No, I wasn't saying everyone was doing it. I wasn't saying everyone was doing it because they need the info. But like that was just my just number. said. A- morbid curiosity right <laughs> who do the titans play in week 17 kitchen come on who do they play who do they play uh, hurry you don't, you don't know you don't know houston twice this is the whole narrative about derrick henry oh f me what are you taking are you just letting time out <laughs> 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 you have three quarterbacks and three tight ends <laughs> oh man Although Gasecki in New England, <laughs> nice value hound on that Gasecki price. Oh gosh, <laughs> I was Corey Davis was still there. I'm sure Phillips was still there. <laughs> yeah, Dave, how did you not take Kyle Phillips? I mean, oh no, on. I should have. <laughs> Gosh, Dave, I do like right. how much you're thinking about Week 17 correlation by the end of the draft. No. So much that you got auto timed out, Mike Gasecki. <laughs> Listen, I'm starting to break a sweat uh, here. So I think this does count for um, cardio club. Do I have to take a picture of like my treadmill right now, my feet? Is that the is that how it works? Yeah, although I'd say this stream is pretty good proof in it in and of itself. Yeah. People could just think I'm walking in place. The chat is falling in love with you right now. Johnny Football's Dave or Davis. Oh no, this was Davis. Sorry, I read it. Davis, your laugh Davis. is so damn contagious. It really is. I so- I agree. What do we? What structure do we call the three QB and Super three tight end build? Structure, Dave. That's, that's I think like I, the, no. We call that. That's like the call, safe. It's a, that's like the it's safe the three, strategy. It's the three condom strategy for yeah. sure. Um, um I'm, I'm pumping my bags. Late round terrace. Whoa! Guys, gotta take whoa. this guy. You gotta take. If him. you're not taking this guy, you're just gonna <laughs> lose. <laughs> Very nice. Um. Okay, yeah, so looking at some of the teams here, I feel let's good each, about my team compared to, uh, you know, compared to you guys' team. Let's let's each read one of each other's teams. So okay, I'll, I'll, let me... Who you do you read do, mine. Dave? You read mine. Okay, all right, I'll read Dave Kitchen's team. All right, Kitchen's first draft of the year. 
He has the very rare 3573 build that also includes elite onesies. Uh, Justin Fields, Deshaun Watson, and Ryan Tannehill. What does Ryan Tannehill do from the, for this team is the question we're all asking ourselves. <laughs> At running back, B. John Robinson, nice pick. James Conner, people are apparently really overlooking him. Uh, Devin A. Chain, Deontay Foreman, Tajay Spears. Honestly, a nice running back room, Dave. Wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb. Amari Cooper, Dave takes him at 34, says he should be a mid-second round value there. Uh, Traylon Burks lived a little there. Got to get your guy. Elijah Moore, Sky Moore, auto pick. Donovan Peoples-Jones and Miko Hardman because the chat, you know, talked him into it. Tight end, Kyle Pitts, six picks ahead of ADP. You're going to get cheaper on him. Chig for the brand and another auto timeout, Mike Gesicki. So to yeah. recap, a 3573 double elite onesie, double timeout, double Titans homer picks, triple Titans homer pick. That is your David Kitchen draft. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All yeah, right, I'm going to do uh, Davis Maddox team. Okay. Davis goes with uh, just two quarterbacks, and they might not even be starting at the end of the season. It's Tua and Gino. Um, and then who's running starting backs. starting for Seattle in this, in this world, Dave? What's that? Who, who's starting in Seattle in week 17? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, you got a lot of faith in a backup quarterback, uh, like a journeyman backup quarterback who had one good season last year. Tua, we know the issues with with him, but only two quarter, only two quarterbacks, only two tight ends for Davis's team. Let's bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Uh, <laughs> six six running backs, eight wide receivers. The running backs, he goes uh, Tony Pollard, Dallas Homer, Ramondre Stevenson. He can't quit him. Cam Akers, because we all know what's going to happen uh, in that Rams running back room. Uh, Elijah Mitchell and Raheem Mostert, and then Jeff Wilson. Really, just kind of dipping on that uh, old 2018 Niners team. Yeah, I think these, uh, I think these guys had. were all teammates at one point. Yes, they were. They definitely were. Uh, and they weren't even scheduled to start, I don't think, or supposed to start that year. Uh, Tyreek Hill, again, we talked about it. Big time burner. And then he goes with the ghost Big of Chris Godwin, <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Lockett, <laughs> Corlin Sutton, <laughs> Michael Gallup. I, I missed the Michael Gallup pick. I mean, these these guys, these guys were legit good like years ago. Um, he then goes with Josh Downs, who I like as a possession guy. And as you know, this is a point. This is PPR, right? The underdogs PPR. Half. Oh, tough scene then, Davis. Uh, John Mechie <laughs> and then Deontay Hardy as his last guy, and then his two tight ends, uh, Hawkinson, and then he pairs Fant with Gino. Honestly, if I'm given grades for a draft, this is like a pretty meh average draft. <laughs> um, Davis, you're up. All right. Well, Peter, uh, Peter is bringing a knife to a gunfight by taking Derek Carr, Bryce Young, and Sam Howell. Sam Howell, probably the only one who's going to run for over 100 yards on that team. The running back room. He's got Christian McCaffrey. It'll be week three, and he'll be cursing Rashad Penny's name as DeAndre Swift sits on the bench for refusing to run in between the tackles. Mm -hmm. Liam takes over at pick 99. He takes James <laughs> Cook, despite the fact that Damian Harris is going to lead this team in touchdowns. Great pick in Samaj P. Ryan, the only healthy running back in the Denver backfield. But just to make sure that the Swift pick doesn't go missed, he does lock him up with Kenneth Gainwell, a love I absolutely move. Devonta Smith, the only player in the NFL who weighs less than I do at pick 22, does take a lobby, sets up the double stack there. Terry McLaurin, no one likes to pick him. No one says Terry McLaurin's their favorite player. A thousand mm. yards, eight touchdowns every single season. Mike Evans looking to retire so that he can join Tom Brady in owning the Las Vegas Raiders. Michael Thomas, he's been dealing with the same injury for three years. <laughs> Pete's also an old, he understands, dealing with uh, the same yeah. injury for three years. Yeah. Rashi Rice, great pick. No Stark there. Anytime you can double up on the Carolina Panthers wide receivers with Bryce Young, you simply have to do it. George Kittle interrupted this draft to explain they would have won the NFC Conference Championship game if Brock Purdy didn't get injured. And then wrapping it up with Juwan Johnson, Foster Moreau's backup as his second tight end. Good team. Uh, the, chat, Good team. The, chat's, the chat's pointing it out. David, I noticed you said, it. Davis, you said love a love I move instead of a move I love. You just I thought he was. I thought that was a shipping, wow. uh, sh ship yeah. chasing thing, and so Duh. I just was like, uh, "That's crazy." Okay. Yeah, you did say uh, that. You said a love you move. Um, right. All right. I yeah. I never I never have little verbal flubs like that. I must be I must be lack of sleep, bro. Yeah, you should check your um, 
your settings. Make sure your REM. Real, is real quick, I want to say because this is people who watch on my channel or ship chasing know about yep. my stream draft challenge, all 150 drafts, and there's a comment challenge as well where I'm going to give away $1,500 when my channel reaches 15k. We're on a good pace for that, and every time you leave a comment on one of my Steam drafts, streamed drafts, you get entered into the giveaway. So the more comments you leave on those individual streams, the better your chances. That includes the swole cast. So normally kitchen has to go in right after a show and kind of get the algo boost going by like, who's that good looking host. We don't yeah. have to worry about that. You guys are all going to leave comments, get extra entries into the giveaway. So don't forget about that. Thanks Pete. And I uh, do want to mention, you know, as we are going to our road to uh 10 K, just like I get my 10 K okay, steps in every day. We're ridiculous are, right well, now. <laughs> I know. I just want to do my, uh, just Shout out to the sponsors at Shady Rays. Listen, if you want to kick off the uh, the year with new gear built to last, and our friends at Shady Rays have you covered from the sun to the slopes with premium polarized slades, customizable snow goggles, and much more exclusively for our listeners and viewers. Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the new year. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code ROTORGRINDERS for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars. But over two hundred thousand people. All right. Um, was that a was that a bit or was that a serious ad read? That's a serious ad read. That's a, so shady. Rays. Is that what's paying our our per show yeah. rates, Dave? All yeah. Right. Well, the good thing is that uh, Davis is not turning in his um, <laughs> his hours, so we don't have to really pay for his stuff. Tuttle not on the show. Tuttle is just shipping like random tournaments. Still, like the guy's on a massive heater. I'm not sure if you saw. I think he shipped another hundred k either last week or the two weeks ago. Here's the right. thing though. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. DB has got to bring the hammer down on him. Dude. Do you know how, how ship it nation would be doing if they got a hundred K screenshot? I mean, it would be nothing but hundred K's in our timeline for weeks. Tuttle, Tuttle, I'm just got, telling you, Tuttle has never wanted to, I know, and, but what I'm, he what and I'm Dink saying, were like on the same page as far as like, what Your I'm saying is that that is weak, that is weak minded and weak willed behavior, and he needs to be a man and get the screenshots we're, out there. We're all like, we all used to be on our high horses about that. There's, yeah. there's, we don't need to have any more shame about this stuff. No one, no one. Has I've, never <laughs> I've never pump, had any shame. I've never pump your bags, shame. right, kitchen. <laughs> Pump, right. pump, pump your bag. bag. Aggressively, aggressively Davis, pump your bags. Here's the thing. Davis and I have never had any shame about uh, self promoting though. Like it's never been. I used never, to. not once. No, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I do have an oversets overview kitchen. Yeah, I was going to get to that in a second. Um, with that being done, let's get into what usually starts our show and what people are here for. It's the oversets overview. He's got that dog in him. What? He's got that dog in him. What? Ow, ow, ow. Oversets overview. Come on. All right, rough, 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 rough. Oversets overview of the week. Um, also, Stephen, I forgot to prep you. I'm about to get an audio or a visual for one of these, so look for it in the hopper here. Um, Underdog announced the second year of Underdog Cardio Club, a program where drafters can get rake back and other perks for drafting while doing cardio. Lots of people are excited about this announcement. David Kitchen responded to the announcement by posting a gigantic barbecue spread with banana pudding. Kitchen, it is. Uh, I see you've worked it off today, though, so you're on a nice mm -hmm. start there. Congratulations. <laughs> um, Pat McAfee announced he'd be leaving his FanDuel gig to go to ESPN. This is where Davis pretends to not know who Pat McAfee is because of his <laughs> vaguely problematic barstool past. He was the, he was the punter, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was the punter. Okay. Uh, the NFL schedule was released last week, and the Titans famously play the Texans twice in the fantasy playoffs. Maybe we should have done the overs at overview at the top. Yeah, you should David have. Kitchen has, David Kitchen has since adjusted his rankings, moving Derrick Henry from a live a little 101 to just a regular 101. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Tuttle05, of course, could not right. make the show today, as you guys could all see. But he did send in this clip of him singing the Week 17 matchups to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't actually have that video, but someone or an artificial intelligence, please make that happen for us. <laughs> and I have four different Chris Randone Ship It Nation jokes that are going to get axed because Hoop is coming on Lulz this week and we'll have to save him for next. Oh, Lulz is the place for uh, 
for the for the spice really that's um the like Lowell's could never be hired by he could never go to espn <laughs> no, <laughs> just yeah, lose, ESPN. Would, would lose its edge do you guys think um because i i don't watch i watch like pat mcafee highlights you know like if there's something that's I don't Rogers believe anyone. There. I don't believe anyone watches. No, long he has a like lot. That. But do you think his? Do uh, you think his show? Like, do you think that he thinks his show is not going to change? Or do you think he knows? It has. To looks change. like okay. What's what's his change. bit? His bit is like I played in the NFL and I I tell it like it is. Like I can talk to athletes because I know what it's like. Is that? But that's is that, not what his bit is like. Change. Every just, his bit is like an every kind of type of guy who just happened to be a punter and he doesn't really claim to so be so it's an like expert. it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be like the man show was back in the day you guys remember that yeah it's nothing like the man show what was the what was the sports show the man that show had... they had like women jumping on trampolines at the end no 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 okay what was the sports show that had the guy who was married to rosie o'donnell oh I know yeah he... oh yeah. i know who you're uh, that was about, on fox David. that was on like fsn yeah yeah, yeah. Chris Rose, it's, I think, like was that. on that. It's yeah. like it's like I tell it like it is, and it's real, right. and we get real. We're really he, real. He, the the reason it will necessarily change whether he likes it or not, and it's not just even not being able to say the f bomb. It's when you're working underneath an umbrella of a hundred and seventy billion dollar corporation in Disney. There are a lot of powerful people who care what you say and what comes across there, and yeah. you can't just talk without a filter when you are answering to that. So. Uh, I assume though the ten million dollars will make it uh, pretty nice a year to well, he uh, was, censor yourself a bit. Uh, FanDuel, he had a ton of, like I mean that was a five year deal. Yeah, and so uh, I, my theory is this: he just had a kid. Things change when you have a kid, and he wants to do what he wants to do, right? And I think he wants to do game day. I think and everyone kind of wants to work for ESPN. Is the deal? Well, also. well, I I just don't think he wants to really worry about the hassle of running your own thing yes and, and he the just infrastructure he, right and like he just wants to do what he likes to do and he's okay with leaving money on the table and honestly we're talking about this in the office fanduel might be okay with leaving money on the table because fanduel has analytics for everything they can see who subscribes from is like there, Pat is there channel. okay is there one instance in the last 20 years of one of these media people getting paid a deal where you look at it and you're like, holy shit, that's a lot of money where it worked out for the person pay or the company, the entity paying all the money. Rogan. Well, Rogan, that, that like backfired almost immediately. It, it, it almost did, but it worked out the, for the Spotify stuff. Yeah. yeah. But like it almost, it almost blew you think, up. Their, you think Spotify, you think Spotify would do that same deal? I, I don't know. I don't listen. I don't have Spotify. Yes, so I don't know. They would do the same deal. Okay. 100%. But the other thing in McAfee's on a way different scale than Katie Nolan, but ESPN has historically struggled to take content creators that aren't in the traditional broadcasting mold and find ways yeah. to package what they do really well for their audience. They had Katie yeah. Nolan bouncing around from a late night show to a Snapchat show and it didn't work out. Yeah. And they had uh, Barstool for two weeks. That, that's my thing is they had Barstool for two weeks and then that was it. And so like I that's that lets me know that the show's probably gonna change, but good for Pat McAfee. I mean, but ESPN, the bag. ESPN bag fumbled Bill Simmons, who was like it was like the easiest, most built in content audience of all time. Like people who don't even like Bill Simmons still engage with his stuff because he's Bill Simmons. And yeah. they fumbled that. You I mean, I just hope that uh Pat McAfee doesn't go woke, you know, Davis? <laughs> Well, he is a he is an employee of the Disney Corporation, so I think I think uh, you know it's 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 uh, he's he's going in to get his woke. I just shot. don't think I just don't think he can a, he can say the same things that he used to, or that his guests can yeah. come on. He also has like rap on the show, like rap's not going to be able to come on the show now, like host the show. So uh, it's a good while it's lasted, but that out also is an opportunity, you know, it's an opportunity for us to kind of step up into uh, to our niche to fill YouTube that void. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine four hour blocks of the swole cast five days oh. a week. <laughs> Can only dream. I mean, that would be people would people would be in on that. Oh man. I'm sure no, some it, people it'd be would. like day two and they'd be like, no, eight hours. Best is enough. best damn sports show, period. Yeah, that, that was, was it. the one. 
Who was the um, the guy that played for the Bulls with the goggles? John, uh, is it John? I, don't, I, I know who you're talking player. about, but I don't I don't remember his name. And why are we? Yeah. Why are we all? I don't know. We're just names today. Yeah, because we're getting old. Um, John Paxson was it? No, he didn't wear <laughs> goggles. Paxson Paxson was the GM. Paxson was a, yes, he was the GM of the Bulls. We're gonna all get right, it in whatever. there. All right. Uh, you, let's... you know he also played for the Bulls, right? You know that, right? Buddy, I was the biggest Bulls fan as an eight-year-old and nine-year-old. All right, well, you're acting like he didn't play on the Bulls. No, because he wasn't on a show. He was the GM. John Sally. He... John Sally. Sally, yes. Oh, I thought we tried to come up with goggle wearers. Yeah. No, right. I'm talking about the, the, show. Tall, the center, the power forward center. All right. I'm, I'm um, billing time and a half for these past two minutes. Okay. Uh, I can't believe Desmond Ritter went undrafted. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Davis, final thoughts? You know, uh, I hope we just get to do this every single week. Chat was bopping. Dave, I think you learned a lot. And uh, I love – it'll be – I think it'll be fascinating. will be to see if you gain any knowledge in between weeks or if the, your sole knowledge of the season comes from doing these these streams with us. Here's the thing, Davis, and maybe – maybe our eight or nine years together, you haven't learned this, but once this is the reason I haven't started until now. Cause once I start, you can't I'm stop. In. Yeah. I'm in and you gotta, you know, I'll be researching and, uh, you know, fine tuning my own rankings and researching and, mm. and researching and, and just put my own, you know, I like to take kind of all the things blend it together and just put my own little stamp on it with the live a little yeah. brand. So, that uh, that will be happening, and uh, you know, I I honestly I don't know who my guys are going to be this year. That's one of the things I have to figure out. Who are going to be my staple guys? You know what what's that going to look like? So, uh, Traylon Burks, Tajay Spears, Will Levis, or are you a Tannehill guy? No, uh, that quarterback. Since I mean, I know I drafted Tannehill, but just because I needed the stack, you got to pair him with somebody. So, um, all right, Peter, final thoughts. Uh, great drafting with you, Dave. You got a little work to do as a best ball streamer, but you'll get yep. there. I know you were juggling a lot. If you guys want to keep watching me draft in 25 minutes, I'll be on the Fantasy Life live YouTube channel drafting a best ball mania team with Ian Harditz, and then I'll be drafting again tonight on Ship Chasing the Show that has ruined fantasy football uh, with yep. its crazy ideological beliefs. So uh, you can get more BBM drafting with me today. Man, I am glistening right now. Um, you want to know how many steps, though, I've taken? It is 227,970. Wow. I still have 15 days left. All so, right. Get um, those gains. And part of that is pickleball, too. No lie. I am deep into the pickleball. I'm playing now two or three times a week. Tonight, I've got a date with a bunch of dads who's going to, they're going to put down their kids, go to the courts, and play for a couple hours. And I can't wait. I don't know any of them. But I can't wait. I hope no one recognizes me from this. Very show. wholesome. Very David Kitchen. I love it. All right. Yeah. All right. So on behalf of Davis Matic, Peter Overzed, our producer Sosa, and uh, uh, you know, Dan Gasper. You know, let's, let's just mention him so people don't forget him in the offseason, though, that he is coming back. Uh, he is coming back this fall for, for football. So uh, he's doing projections over there at rotogrinders.com, which you want to sign up for. You want to sign up for Spike Week, you want to Sign up for Davis and Pete's newsletter and all their other streams and um, and everything that I've got out there as well. So, all right. With that being <laughs> said, we'll see you next time here on the Swolecast on RotorGunners.com. Peace. Peace.